హలో ఐ హాప్ యూ హ్యావ్ వాచ్డ్ నార్మల్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ పార్ట్ వన్ దిస్ ఈస్ పార్ట్ టూ ఆఫ్ నార్మల్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ లెట్ అస్ హ్యావ్ ఎ రీ క్యాప్ ఆఫ్ జడ్స్కో జడ్స్కో మెషర్స్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ హౌ మెనీ స్టాండర్డ్ డివిషన్స్ అబవ్ ఓర్ బిలో ద మెయిన్ ద వ్యాల్యూ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈస్ అండ్ ద ఫార్ములా ఈస్ జెడ్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎక్స్ మైనస్ మ్యూ బై సిగ్మా and we have a, an example we discussed this example in the first part the marks on a basic tools continuous assessment test at fatima have a mean of 90 marks and a standard deviation of 4 marks arun scored 97 marks and the question was find the z score for arun's marks and the formula z is equal to x minus mu by standard deviation here we have uh, the values the mean of the series mu is equal to 90 and standard deviation is 4 arun's score marks 97 substituting the values we have 97 minus 90 divided by 4 1.75 so arun's score is 1.75 standard deviation above mean a positive score means data point is above average a negative score means the data point is below average now if we have a z scores with us we can find the probability by locating the probability in the area under the normal curve here we have an example the z score is 1.54 locating the probability in the table we have a red shaded area in the table that is 0.4382 is the turbul value for z is equal to 1.54 you know that a normal curve is a symmetrical curve so on either side there are equal number of items we have a area 0.5 on the right side 0.5 on the left side so if you want to find a negative z score for example minus 1.54 you can have the same area 0.4382 say for example if you have on either side of the normal curve two values 1.67 minus and plus 1.67 you have to locate the area between the two in order to locate the area between the two you have to add the table values so we have a minus 1.67.4525 plus 1.67 also 0.4525 the total is 0.9050 that is the area that is actually the probability so that is given in the figure for example you have the two z scores on the same side and if they are on the same side you have to take the difference of the table values for example you have a z score 1.5 and a z score 2.58 first locate the table values for example 2.58 you have a table value 0.4951 1.5 the table value is 0.4332 the difference is 0.0619 so that is given in the figure now if you want to find the tail area that is on either side for example in the positive side beyond a certain value and in the negative side less than a certain value you have to subtract that table value from the area of that side that is 0.5 you subtract the value from 0.5 you will get the tail area of the normal curve now we are at the end point where we will find the answer to our question the question was the height of students at fatima college is normally distributed with a mean height of 
160 cm and a standard deviation of 5 cm. What percentage of the students have height between 150 cm and 165 cm? Second part of the question. What percentage of the students have height above 170 cm? So first let us find out the Z scores. And the formula is x minus mu divided by sigma. The first part of the question between 150 and 165. When x is equal to 150, we have a z score 150 minus 160. That is the mean of the distribution divided by standard deviation 5. Z score is minus 2. And the table value for that minus 2 is 0 0.4772. Next, when x is equal to 165, z score is 165 minus 160 divided by 5. Z score is 1. Table value for 1 is equal to 0 0.3413. They are on either side of the curve. Add the two values. 0.4772 plus 0.3413 is equal to 0.8185. Percentage, multiply that by 100, 81.85%. So, the height of the students between 150 centimeters and 165 centimeters, the percentage of the students at Fatima College is 81.85%. The second part of the question, the height of the students, the percentage of the height of the students above 170 centimeters. First, find the Z score, 170 minus 160 divided by 5. So, Z score is 2. Table value for 2 is 0.4772. Above means right of that area. So total area on a single side is 0.5. To find the area to the right of that, you have to subtract that value from the total. That is 0.5. So 0.5 minus 0.4772. You will get 0 0.028. Percentage. Multiply that by 100, you will get 2.28%. So the percentage of students at Fatima having height above 170 centimeters is 2.28. To know more about normal distribution, correlation, regression, index numbers, binomial distribution and Bayes theorem, please visit my blog, Oikonomia. Fatima. Thank you.